Hi, Miss Terry. I remember the day that we started here at Eccles together. We've gone through a lot. I've told everybody there is nothing that you can't do except for dance. Remember when we did the Faculty Follies? I wish you a happy retirement. Bye. Hey, Miss Terry, we just uh, want to congratulate you on your retirement and just thank you so much for your many years of service here uh, at Eccles and we're going to miss you, but uh, I wish you the best and uh, I know it's going to be great and we will miss you, but thank you so much for all that you've done for the students and the teachers here at Eccles. We love you. Hi, Miss Terry, this is Stephen Rockhart. Thank you so much for being such an influential uh, role model in my younger years throughout Eccles. Thank you so much for all the favor that you've shown me and thank you so much for helping me make my life what it is today. Oh, hi. Miss Terry? Come here. I met her about 14 years ago. Miss Terry, I met you. And you scared me to death in an interview. And I didn't get the job. I was so glad. And then I got a job someplace else. And I worked there for about nine years and they got that job eliminated. And then I came here and you called me in the summer and you were so nice. And I was like, wow, this isn't the same lady I interviewed with. Well, I came to work that first day and I sat in the library and you're talking about the faculty and you're getting emotional and you're crying. And I was like, wow, she's so nice. Then I started working for you. You scared me. You still scared me. But I found out what a wonderful person you are. You have a good heart. You have strict standards. And you don't hold anybody to standards that you don't have. And you are so good for these kids. And you've made this school a wonderful place. And I've always been jealous of the school. And now I'm here. And now you're leaving. But anyway, the best of luck to you. You're awesome. And you, Eccles is what it is because of you. And thank you so much. It's been a pleasure working for you. You are a jack of all trades and have been a wonderful mentor to me for the past four years and a wonderful friend um, that has taught me so much and helped me grow so much as a person and um, as a counselor and just, you have just been such a blessing to me and I'm so thankful for um, your kindness and your servant heart that you have always helped and always been the first one to say, how can I help you and, and how's everything going? And I'm just gonna miss you like crazy, but I've already told you that I'm calling you for all the logistics help next year so you can help us figure out and remember why on earth we did the, what we did. Um, I just love you, love you, love you, and I'm so thankful that I know you. That's good, okay, now I'm gonna press record. <laughs> hey, Miss Terry. Um, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you what an honor it's been to work for you over the past several years. Um, you are a woman that is respected in the community and loved by so many and I feel like you're the woman in Proverbs that um, is the kind-hearted woman who gains her respect that way. Um, I love you so much. I've loved working for you. I hope to be just like you one day and um, I hope you enjoy your retirement. Please come back and visit anytime. Thank you for all you've done. Uh, so many memories that we shared together, but one that pops into my mind concerns a, a student of ours by the name of James Palmore. If you remember, he stole a cassette uh, radio tape player out of someone's car, and you spent the entire day trying to hunt that thing down. We looked through his car several times, but never found anything. And at the end of the day, you became a little bit frustrated that a special education student had outsmarted you and you just couldn't live with that. Finally, we went back to the car and we opened up the hood and there was the tape player. And I was so proud that I knew that you were smarter than James Poundmore. We're going to miss you and we hope you have a great retirement. Thanks for the memory. Hello, Ms. Terry. Uh, I'm coming to you here from the shop. Uh, I remember the first day we walked in here, it was about 20 degrees, and you couldn't get but about three foot through the door from all the stuff, uh, but you stuck your neck out, and together we put together one of the best career tech programs in the county. Uh, I'm going to miss you. I hate that you're leaving. Uh, I know that as 
long as you've been here, that you've always been here to take care of anything we needed, and that's going to be hard to replace. I uh, wish you luck in the future, and hope you still come by to see us and stay involved in things. Ms. Terry, I'd just like to thank you for making me feel part of the Eccles family since day one, and all the things you've taught me day in and day out and how to be a great leader. I'll take what you've taught me and apply it to my future leadership and wouldn't have gotten this opportunity and the opportunity to learn from someone great like you anywhere else. Thank you so much. Miss Terry, thank you so much for all that you've done for me, for being there. Um, throughout the years that I've been here with you, I know that you've always had not only me, but everybody's best interests at heart. And you've been a role model to me and I just want to say thank you and good luck in the next endeavor of your life. Thank you, Ms. Terry, for everything. Wish you the best of luck and enjoy retirement. Ms. Terry, I'm going to miss you very, very much. And um, I had the best 220 years of my life working with you. Good luck, good luck with you and your family. Thank you. Bye. Ms. Terry, um, what to say? Well, I guess I should first wish you luck and um, congratulations on retirement, even though it has uh, distressed me tremendously that you're not going to be here next year. Um, I would like to say thank you for both me and Tyra for taking us in from Woodwood and making us feel like we're home here and, and treating us like Eccles family. Um, I do wish you all the best, although I will hold it against you forever that you are retiring. Well wishes. Thanks. Hi, Miss Terry. I am so grateful that I had the opportunity to work with you. You are such a wonderful person. I remember on my third day here, um, being nervous, being in the school, not knowing much about school nursing and what to do. And I just remember hearing over the walkie talkie you talking to Mr. Amerson, asking him a question because you were mowing the grass the night before and you saw something and you just needed his help with it. And I just thought then and there, oh my goodness, I'm in great hands because if the principal of the school will stay after school and cut the grass, there's nothing that she won't do. And at that point, I realized that I was part of a team of people that work together. Um, I will let you know that your reputation definitely precedes you. Prior to us moving here and we were scouting schools, everyone told us, make sure you get into a school, an elementary school that will filter Zimri into Eccles Middle School. So before even knowing Eccles existed and me working in the community, I was told, make sure you get to Eccles, make sure you work with Miss Terry. And that was definitely a blessing, the best advice we've ever received. We're so grateful um, to have known you and to have had your leadership and we love you and wish you the best. Bye. Miss Terry. You are my favorite boss, my best boss, um, good friend. Um, thank you for everything you've done for me. Make my um, job wonderful. Um, I hope you enjoy your time. Look. Say congrats on your retirement. Um, I know that you're going to love it. All those years that I spent at Eccles were some of the best years in my teaching career, and I really appreciate that the kind of person you are and the way that you ran things at Eccles it meant a whole lot to me, and I appreciate you being um, always in the background, always taking care of us, always encouraging us. Some of the things that I think are particular about you, I just have to say that um, I always loved the way that you got to know the kids, that you were a part of what went on, you made yourself known, you became friends with them, you knew their name, and that wasn't an easy task after a few years, but um, also just knowing that you cared about them, you cared about us, and that you put yourself to um, everything that went on at the school. Of course, it would not, not be complete without saying that um, I did finally meet my match and I found somebody that cries easier than me. So uh, that was an accomplishment. But I uh, just want you to know that I think the world of you and 
I loved all the times that we worked there and uh, even accreditation hours. Uh, what an experience that was. But I appreciate you and I appreciate you being an encourager and uh, standing behind us always. And I hope that everything about retirement is wonderful for you and I know you'll love it. And I uh, love you much. Bye. Hey, Miss Terry, I want you to know that I appreciate your dedication and your support to us while we were here at Eccles. And my funniest memory of you is when we first came to Eccles, Maria and I called you and said to you we wanted to be cheerleader sponsors. And you kind of laughed at us and then you said, are you sure? Are you serious? And once we got here, you shared that story with us. But you have been nothing but supportive, not only in that area, but in every area that we encountered. We want to thank you for the dedication to us, your commitment and we want you to know that we love you and I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Miss Terry, thank you for always being very supportive of us and we wish you well. Hey, Terry, thank I'm going to go ahead and start this off and tell you what I tell everybody else when they find out that I worked at Eccles Middle School. When you've worked for the best, nobody else can compare. Thanks so much for the eight great years at Eccles. Not only were you the most awesome boss, you were a friend. Congratulations on your retirement. Wishing you all the best. I love you and I miss you. Hey, Miss Terry. I just wanted to let you know I'm really excited that um, you're going to get to retire and enjoy your life outside of school. I also want to say that it has been great to work with you and for you for the past 13, 14 years, ever since the school's been open. And I just thank you for all the things you've done for our family. You're very special to us. Um, very blessed that Jason's been able to work with you as well. He's learned a lot from you. And uh, we just thank the world of you. And we're so happy for you. Enjoy. I can always count on you, Miss Terry, that if you're there, I won't ever be the only one who cries. Miss Terry, you have been a wonderful inspiration to all of us. And we love having you as our principal. And I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done for the kids and for the school. And we'll miss you. And I hope you have a blessed, wonderful vacation off. And we love you. Well, as you know, you have known me for a very long time. You were my day camp counselor uh, at Para many years ago. I guess when you were in college. And uh, I was probably 10. And then we didn't cross paths for a long time. Um, we barely missed each other at County High when I was a student and you were teaching. And then when I was being cut at Crestmont, you came and saved me, so to speak. I was uh, gonna lose my job there. Uh, the job was being cut and you came and visited me and observed my classroom and um, thankfully gave me an opportunity here at Eccles. Uh, looking back now, I can see where um, God was all in that. It's been an, an awesome opportunity to work for you. Um, I count myself blessed to uh, have been around you for so long and seen uh, your professionalism, um, the way you work with people, uh, treat people, love people. Um, and I think I've taken a lot from that. Um, you're very special uh, to me. You've given me so many opportunities um, to, uh, to grow. I feel like, um, you know, as a young teacher, you, you didn't let me make excuses. You didn't allow me to make excuses. Um, you made sure that I understood what was the most important, which was the students. And for that, I'm so thankful um, that I've had that ingrained in me. And I remember that and, and, and remember that when I make decisions. And uh, just uh, we've been, uh, been able to see our families change so much over the years and grow. and different chapters and I know this next chapter in your life is going to be very special and I pray uh, that it is and that you get to spend uh, so much time with your family and your hobbies. I remember the first time I met you at my interview, I thought, oh man, what a joy and delight it would be to work under you with all of your knowledge. I remember the first summer that we were opening up this gun. You came down there when I was filthy and said, let me help you. And I said, no, no, I got this. And you said, no, I don't mind, I don't mind. And you pitched right in and you started working in that nasty kitchen. That impressed me so much. Remember the times 
when I've had employees that ooh, I just couldn't handle. You were always there for me. I have learned so much under you. And I just wish I could be the person that you are. And you have given so much to this county school system. They are losing a wonderful, wonderful employee. I hope you have a good retirement. And we will all will miss you. Thank you. to you.